Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, thank you. Excellent. What about you? I'm doing good. Hey, the one that has the LGK10 2017, escríbame su nombre porque <laughs> si no van a aparecer los minutos para el LG. Ah, okay. Okay, please. This woman, in this okay. moment, change my name. Please, please change it. Okay, excellent. Okay. Guys, remember, every time when you come to the class, it's better if you have your full names already. Because in that way, it, your minutes count from the beginning just for you. Los minutos tienen que contar desde el principio para ustedes, right? So, nombres completos. So, Leima, are you working? Hi, teacher. <laughs> are you working? Yes, right uh, yes I'm, fin I'm finishing right now. <laughs> so, I'm going to go in so the you, car in the class <laughs> so you're gonna right. be like a you're gonna be like a listener yes <laughs> okay for a, a moment are you gonna drive no no i'm going to be the copy lot of i don't know how to say that so you're gonna be like a passenger the passenger yes <laughs> okay very good that's okay sulema so but it's okay. okay if you're not driving you can participate sometimes if you want right yes yes, okay. yes. excellent very good so welcome, welcome. Yesterday we had more people in the class. Today mm -hmm. it's like I'm starting the class and I don't see like too many people. I only see like, what, let's see, 11 people beside me. 11, why, why is that? But uh, the class has to start. So let's start with the attendance. Even though I don't have like everyone here today, I need to go ahead. But I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Good evening, everyone. I hope you're doing good. Um, we're gonna start the class right now because yeah, you know, we have to start the class. We're gonna do like a little bit of a review about yesterday's topic, but, oh, and I have answers for, for the people that have problems. So I have like, I send a message and I have the answers for that, for those people. So let me, wait a minute, guys. So today is Thursday. Yeah, today is Thursday. So I'm gonna start with the attendance. Remember, you have to have your cameras on, full names of you, as you have it in the DUI. So nombres completos, según DUI, nombre completo, Claudia, necesito, Claudia, Claudia, Claudia. Oh, Claudia. Claudia, ¿usted es la que no estaba en asistencia? Sí, teacher, uh, yo soy la que, Sí, yo soy la que no estaba en la asistencia. Ay, buenas noches, teacher. Sí, yo soy la que no estaba en la asistencia. Vaya, tengo solución para usted. Dígame. Usted pertenece a otro grupo. Ah, ok. Sí. Entonces, usted me dice, Claudia Maricena Solano está en otro grupo. Se encuentra Ajá. en el grupo 13. Ah, ok. ¿Y cómo hago, teacher, disculpa, para poder agregarme a este grupo? No sé si les mandaron las credenciales a usted de este grupo. Fíjese que a mí me mandaron la información y todo era para enlazado a este grupo, ¿verdad? Entonces no sé cómo haría para meterme al otro grupo. Deme un segundo porque... Sí. Ok, so... Lo que podemos hacer es que usted escriba al número principal de inglés corporativo y le diga que le han dado las credenciales de este, pero usted pertenece a otro. Ok, está bien. Tendría que escribir mañana o ahora. ¿Usted es en el grupo de WhatsApp de nosotros? Eh, solamente permítame, ya le digo. Creo que no. Sí, okay, no. Le voy, a dar, le voy a dar un número de teléfono para que escriba, ponga ahí su nombre. Solamente, no sé si puedo, permítame, un minuto. Me mandaron la información. Ah, sí, estoy en un grupo. Exacto. Permítame, eh. permítame. Eh, discúlpeme, ya le digo quién fue que me mandó. Me escribió eh, Luis Bonías. 
Y es el número telefónico 7210-9980. A él escríbale para decirle cuál es su grupo y para preguntarle si puede entrar a las credenciales, porque probablemente en este momento se esté llevando a cabo esa clase y usted está aquí y no le está contando la asistencia ya. Ah, ok. Y cualquier... Oh, bueno, está bien. Entonces me salgo y le escribo a él, ¿verdad? Exacto, para poder conectarse. Gracias. Excelente. Un gusto, bueno, Claudia. Un gusto, gracias. <ríe> Excelente. Ok, guys. Eh, tengo las otras soluciones. So, what else, what else, what else? Um, Harbin, está aquí Harbin ya, ¿no? No, 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 no. Ok, so I'm going to... Harbin, are you here? Yeah, yes, Harbin is there. Here. So, Harbin, me dijeron que ya tiene acceso a la plataforma. Yes, I can. Yes, ¿ya tiene? Yes, I have. Yes. Ah, ok, very good. Uh, let's see, let's see, Harbin. Y el nombre de Estefanía ya está arreglado. Ay, bueno, creo que era todo lo que Brenda, tenía que hacer. ¿Y a Brenda? Sorry, I was having problems with my uh, machine. So I'm here now for my. No, 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 I haven't. I haven't. Don't worry, don't worry. I haven't gone okay. through the attendance. But I'm going to go mm -hmm. right now. Just wait a minute. Control de asistencia. There we go. So I'm going to start with the attendance because. That's the most, oh, but this is not the, this is not one. Mayo 13. No, oh, this is not yours, guys. What? <sighs> Wait a minute. I don't know what happened here. The technology sometimes can be tricky. Control de asistencia. I think, yeah, this is the one. G24. Excellent, there we go. So remember, cameras on, full names, and you say, I'm here. Ana Beatriz Valencia Ruiz. I'm here. Excellent. Ana Elizabeth Berrios de Sandoval. I'm here. Ana, I mean, Brenda Erlinda Sáenz Villatoro. I'm here. Excellent. Claudia Lorena Carca Morgueta. Diana Yesenia Reyes Alas. I'm here. Estefanía Alexandra Aguilar Céspedes. I'm here. Flor Hidalma Ramírez Calderón. I'm here. Harvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. I am here. Jennifer Gisela López Sánchez. Okay. Juan José Ábalos Campos. I am here. Katia Margarita Herrero Pérez. I'm here. Kerry Tiffany Rosales Figueroa. Merlin Lisbeth Ventura Cruz. Miguel Ángel Centeno. I'm here, teacher. Excelente. Roberto Antonio Quintanilla, Ciudad Real. Rolando Antonio. Rolando Antonio Quintanilla, Ciudad Real. I'm here. Ruth Saraí Medrano Aguilar. I'm here. Excelente. Ruth Noemí Sánchez Pérez. Ruth Noemí, ¿no? Suleima Lisset Méndez Romero. I'm here, teacher. William Antonio Morales Mancía. I'm here. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. I'm here. Josué Efraín Cáceres Escalante. Silvia María Rivera Rivas. Ok, no están. Bien. Ha, ¿Alguien se conectó en lo que pasa asistencia? Nope. Bien, tengo varios ausentes hoy. I don't know what happened. Ok. So, uh, yesterday, guys, we were talking about abilities. We were talking about can and can't, right? Did you try to work on the platform? Did you work in the platform yes. or nobody has? Yes. yes. Ok, excellent. It was just... Uh... One homework, right? Yes, one homework. As I told you, Science you can do one homework. 
Yeah, you can do what homework or you can do like many homeworks as you as you want. That is okay. Nature what is Okay, thank you for letting me know, Anna. Thank you. Thank you for, for letting me know. Okay, so um, today we're going to do like a little bit of a review about the Ken and Kent, about abilities, but also we have a new topic for today that is wool and cool. Have you ever heard about wood and could? No? Yes, Juan Jose says yes, he has heard about wood, wood and yes. could, right? It's super easy to use, so today is just like a review of that topic. So the beginning, um, let me share my screen with you guys. Wood, 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 wood. Okay, I'm gonna, there. So can you help me read the topic for today, please? Beatriz. Yes. Can you help me read the topic? How to use will be and could be. Excellent. Can you help me read the date, please? Miguel Angel. It's Thursday, May 13, 2021. Can you say this again? Thursday, May. Hello, teacher. Yes, no, this one, just this yeah. part. Excuse me, uh, can I hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? I don't know, maybe it's his internet. Miguel, can you Hello, guys teacher? hear me? Yes, I'm hear you. Yes, Okay. Yes. So this one, just this part. Okay. Can you say it again? Uh, 13, 13. Thing. Remember to make the sound at the end. So 13th, 13th. Thing. Yeah, because these are ordinal numbers. And with the ordinal numbers, we need to make the sound. Excellent. Thank yeah. you very much. Uh, okay. okay, let's go here. So guys, we were talking about abilities, possibilities with Ken, right? So we had the singular and affirmative way that we use only Ken in the sentences. Subject can, verb, and complement. So I can speak English. You can ride a bike. Then we have the negative form when you can use can't. You can use can not, but it's better if you use only can't, the abbreviation. I can't speak French. You can't ride a horse, right? And then for questions, it's super easy. For questions, you only change the position of the verb and the subject. So the, the modal verb in this case that is can goes at the beginning of the question and the subject goes before, I mean, no, after, <laughs> goes after the modal verb that is can. As always, you use at the beginning of the sentence, the modal verb or the auxiliary verb to help you, okay? Yes? And then at the end, you just add the question mark. So they can speak Spanish. Can they speak Spanish? They, uh, you can, for example, you can ride a bike. So the question will be, can you ride a bike, right? It's super easy to use. I'm just gonna make here something and you're gonna send me to the chat just for me, choosing Les Corporativo to send to the chat. You're gonna make this. A question, okay? Make it a question and send it to the chat, please. Can you play soccer? Yeah, you send it to the chat. <laughs> Can you play soccer? Remember, the intonation is very important when you're making questions in English. Can you play soccer? Excellent. Good job. Sir, is it correct to uh, say can? What is it correct can to say? Is, is it correct to say can instead of can? I hear, I, I hear, I hear persons uh, pronounce can. can as can. Can. Like uh -huh. can? 
Uh -huh. Can like you speak can. English? Uh -huh. Can you, you can. Mm -hmm. Where have you heard these people? Uh, in the school. <laughs> no, but I think. It was a teacher, but it was a teacher. Yeah. yeah. Let's call it free variation. Llamémosle free variation, pero yeah, only can. Can you, can you, they can, right? Can. And now can is a can of soda, right? Yeah, can of soda. Okay. Can. That is a lata. Yeah. That is true. Sure. Yeah, me. tell me. Uh, um, we can write another question. Oh, Mr. Sorry, you can play soccer. Yeah, just that one. That was the example. So, for example, the, let's do this one. Uh, I, I was just explaining that. I'm just going to create another one for you to send it again because I'm just asking you to do this. So, for example, chicken, dance, do this negative, send this as a negative one. The ones that I'm sending you, do, the, do as I tell you. Okay. But... Uh... I don't understand. Okay, so, I, I, so I'm giving you the examples in affirmative. And then I ask you to do it like negative or to do it a question. The same example that I gave you. For example, can you play soccer? Exactly. Is, exactly. Okay. Yeah, okay. But if you, if you, how can I do it in, with a negative form? This one, chicken dance, chicken dance. How can it be negative? She can't dance. She can't dance with the but abbreviation. This a, but this is a, a statement. Yeah. No question. No, it's not a question. No, no I just told you, like I write this affirmative, you just have to write it negative. Okay, no question. No, no, no. In this case, just oh, negative. Okay. 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 Only a statement. Yeah, only the statement. So everyone okay. send it, can she dance? She can't dance. She can dance, she can dance, she can not dance. Yeah, that, that can be correct, but it's better if you say can't. Okay, that's it. Okay, guys, let's get to the business because we have some important topics for today. The class for today is mostly conversational. So today you're gonna speak a lot. You're gonna practice with your classmates because we have a couple of questions. We have a conversation. And at the end, almost at the end of the class, we have a grammar point. But most of the class is going to be about conversations. And the first conversation that we're gonna have is related to these two questions. Let me share my screen so you can see my questions. Right there. So identify Identify three, three, don't say three. Si no me van a decir, identifique árbol, no. Identify three ways you contribute to your company. Okay, so can you, for example, you all guys work for different companies, right? You have the place where you work. So how do you contribute to your company. For example, me, in my case, I contribute by teaching English to my students, helping my students with their pronunciations, and explaining grammar to my students. So that's, that, those are like the things that I do, and I contribute to my company. How do you contribute to your company, okay? So I want you to think about three ways you contribute to your company and write them down. Don't send them to the chat. No, no, no. I don't want you to send them to the chat. Just write them down to you. It, it, write, them, write them down in a piece of paper. It's okay if you do it. I just want you to have the answers. Because that is the answer for this first question. Can you name three ways to contribute? you contribute to your company's mission? And the second question is, what specific benefits do you provide to your company? So what are three, uh, well, I don't know, may, as many specific benefits you provide to your company? So a benefit that I provide is that I teach English. That is the benefit. 
mostly. Okay. When you have the answers, give me a thumbs up. You have the reactions there. And the reactions you can give me a thumbs up. Like this. If you don't understand what you're doing, you can ask me, teacher, what are we doing? Guys, the examples, send them here <laughs> in the in the Zoom chat. Don't send them to WhatsApp, please. <laughs> One more minute, one more minute. Oh, Brenda, you are connected from two devices. Okay, you have to be connected just from one, please. Porque si no los minutos se van a contar dobles and that is not correct. Okay. You ready? Or not yet? Teacher, can you pronounce the word contribute? Contribute. Contrib contribute. No, contribute. Contribute. Okay, thank you. Contribute. Okay. Did you but finish, this, guys? One question. These things should be with the uh, using can and can using can. Just that. No, 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 no. It can no, be no, anything. No. It can be anything, anything. All right. Thank this you. is just about speaking. Today is just about speaking. So this is a different topic. You have to tell me the ways you contribute to your company's mission and the specific benefits you provide to your company. That is all what you have to tell me. You haven't finished, guys? Nadia terminado? <laughs> nope. You are quiet today. Yesterday you were outgoing and now you're quiet this day. Why are you so quiet? It's because it's Thursday, el viernes chiquito. That's why you're quiet. You want to you want it to be Saturday. Okay, definitely, just one more minute. And when we finish that, when it's 8.28, I'm gonna start with the next activity. Just one question. As you said that I shouldn't be using two devices to connect to this class because the minutes will be counting um, double. double. So the point is like, I have to use my cell phone to be able to show you my face because otherwise I cannot because I don't have a webcam. 
that I can use. So I don't know how to do because I have one, but that is not uh, like uh, it's not sharp. You cannot see me if I use that. I can I can try to use that if you want, but I don't know if it will be like a, uh, it would be good or not. Try it. Okay, let me one second. Okay, guys, so now the next activity. The next, next activity is that you're going to the breakup rooms and you're going to talk to your classmates. So you're going to ask them this question. So if you can uh, write the questions down or just take a screenshot, because you're going to ask your classmates these questions. Can you name three ways you contribute to your company's mission? What specific benefits do you provide to your company? So you're going to be asking and answering this question. I'm going to give you a few minutes to do so. And remember, if I go to a breakup room, you have to be speaking. Can someone tell me what happens if you're not speaking when I go to the breakup room? What happens? You will be the volunteer. <laughs> you're going to be the volunteer when we come here, right? <laughs> I can see you, Brenda. I can see you. It's okay. I can see you. Okay. So you're going to be the volunteer here and you're going to tell me the activity, the whole activity, and you're going to explain. You never have to say, teacher, ya terminamos. Did you? Did you finish? That's what I'm going to ask. So um, did you understand the activity that we're going to do right now? Or do I have to explain it again? Or is it clear? You are so quiet today, oh my God. Jennifer. Okay, the activity is that you are going to the breakout rooms, right? And you have these two questions. You are going to ask these questions to your classmates and they, they are going to ask you these questions to you. So everyone can speak and everyone can say how they contribute, what benefits they give to their company where they work or where you work. So you're gonna ask and answer these questions and you will have the opportunity to listen to your classmates. Yes? Did everyone get it? Yes, teacher. Aren't yeah. so when that you are in the breakout room? I didn't quite get it, Jennifer, because your audio was like cut. Ah, what will be the punishment if we are not talking? Ah, or the punishment if you're not talking. When we come back to the main session, I'm going to make you speak in front of everyone. Uh, okay, got it. Okay, very good. Did, you, did everyone understand? If yes. you don't say yes, at least do this so I can know that you understand. I will know that you understand. No? Yes. yes oh sure. my God, you should look at your faces. Your faces today <laughs> are so happy. Your faces are like this. That happy. Super happy. Oh my God, what happened? ¿Quién lo dañó hoy? The traffic? What? <laughs> you look sad. Why are you sad? Okay, I'm going to create the breakup rooms and then, you know, you have to ask and answer the questions. This is your chance to speak. Shine. Time to shine.
Stefania, did you get the invitation? Um, sorry, yes, I got it, but actually I'm driving. You're driving? Yes, I'm driving. Ah, okay. Thank you for letting me know. Okay. I sent a message in your personal. I don't know if you see. In my personal chat here on Zoom or WhatsApp? No, uh, in Zoom. Okay. Okay. Thank you for letting me know. Just let me know when you get home, okay? Okay. Excellent. I help people get cheaper tickets and I increase sales. Sorry, what, what's the last? I increase sales. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. I understand. Well, um, what specific benefits do you provide to your company? I give good customer service to, like Katia. <laughs> I have to build customer loyalty with the company. Okay, good. Well, you can ask me if you want. Harbin. No, uh, oh, Harbin. No, Harbin. Oh, Harbin. <laughs> to put in practice something that you have already uh, learned before. And the um, most uh, important thing that I used to contribute to my company and I think it's the most important is the time the time that I give to them because time is the most important resource that each one of us have that's it what do you want where do you work where do I work in a state trust company <laughs> I am a, uh, um, I work as a developer, Diana too. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> as Brenda was saying, I work at the same company like her. And I contribute, contribute sorry, in, to position uh, the brand of the company and maintaining a good image of it through the digital marketing and I help to increase the sales. That's it. <laughs> nice. <Okay. laughs> yeah. we, we have different. I go. Mm. It, it's the same if in El Salvador. It's the same. Uh, yes. Do you, do you export uh, the products from Honduras? Yes, we export uh, different uh, uh, materials, uh, for example, roof, uh, 
people, um, uh, difference material of the construction. Oh, yeah. It's yes. very interesting. Yeah. Yes. Gal Galvaniza are, are in other, in other places. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Is, is, is in other places. Okay. What is your job at Galvaniza? Uh, excuse me? What is your job? My job is a price manager. Oh, so you are a price manager at Galvaniza? In Galvaniza, yes. Uh, I am the authorization the, of this kind. Uh, uh, when people uh, buy uh, different uh, products. So, but in Galvaniza, la lamina está cara, ¿verdad, ahorita? Yes. <laughs> Yo compré una I número, I, I bought a number 24, like one month ago. And it was yes. like $8 and something, $8 and 60 and $8 and something, the, the, the square, right? Yes, yes, but yes. now it's like nine, nine something. Yes, the price is up very, very quick. Uh, quick, yes. Uh, is for a pandemic, a global is the problem. Yes, because I see like the prices are going really up and also, well, many, many things are going really up. I don't know. <laughs> it's expensive. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? <laughs> it's expensive, but it's a good product, product. Yeah, yeah, that's true. What about you, Elizabeth? And how, how contribute your, in your job? That I, uh, I try to clarify. Uh, clarify. The, the, clarify the all information of, of the people uh, has, uh, but uh, okay. mm -hmm. I that's <laughs> what about you, Beatriz? Okay, something else, anything else, what else? No, the... <laughs> Thanks, well, uh, the question what specified specific benefit do you provide Sp to your company? Um, well, in my case, um, I'm a lawyer, so uh, the I think the most important activity. Uh, that I do in my work is uh, protecting for legal problems. Sometimes we have problems with the customer when they don't pay on time. Sometimes we get to the customers
Hello. So I went to the break rooms and yeah, everyone was practicing. Good for you that everyone was practicing. But I want to mention a, something that someone said in a break room that one of the most important ways that this person contributes to the company is her time. Bec and I have, haven't thought about that, but yes, time is one of the most precious things that we can give even to the company. And my mom always says, you know, you don't buy clothes, phones, computers, and everything with money. Actually, you buy it with time because it has been the time you spend to make that money, right? So the time is one of like money, you can get money, but the time, for example, the minute that just passed is never going to be back, right? So I just got thinking and got, I got really like serious on the topic. <laughs> okay, guys. Yeah, but that was, that was really good. I, it, make, it made me think. It made me think. Excellent. So um, that was good. Did you like the practice? I, I saw you were speaking a lot. So that was good. Excellent. So right now we have a conversation before we go to the topic about wool and cool. So I'm gonna share my screen. Uh, have you checked the manual and on, on, on the platform? Have you like, have you gone through the manual or have you yeah. worked on it? Yeah. What page? What page? We are going to work right now in the page number 11. 11. Page 11. Look, he has it printed. Rolando even printed the manual, right? Excellent, yeah. very good. Sometimes guys, I think even though that's like the old way to do it, it's the best way to do it. When you write the things, for example, look at this. I have my notebook and I write everything because sometimes I think that it's better when you take a picture or something, it's, mm, mm, no, that's, it doesn't work, but it's okay. If you can print them, print it, it's okay. So I'm gonna share my screen to the ones that don't have, for the ones that don't have the manual. Okay, so this is the conversation we have for today. As I told you yesterday, I'm gonna read the conversation twice. The first time is going to be for pronunciation and the second time is going to be for intonation. After I read this, we are going to the breakout rooms again to practice. And when we come back, I'm gonna ask some people to help me say the conversation here in front of everyone, because I want to see how you're doing it. Okay, let's go. Kurt, well, that's a name. How comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable, sir. Comfortable, 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 sir. With my experience, I can say this will be, would be, would be, okay? Would be a great opportunity, opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company what I mean, what I mean, can you, what can you, hmm. Hmm. let me look at this. Can you, can you bring to this company as an employee? So guys, I think it's missing something here because it doesn't make sense. So maybe, so maybe like that. What benefits can, benefits can you bring to this company as an employee? Okay, so write it there because it doesn't make sense like that. I am sure about that. Look, what benefits, benefits can you bring to this company as an employee? As this company as an employee? I would be a great asset, asset in the company because of my experience, experience. 
in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large, large projects. Okay, so I'm gonna read it again. Do you need uh, reinforcements with the pronunciation of a word? Do you want me to repeat a word? No? No. Uh, okay. I, I have a question. Okay, who has a question? Uh, what was the meaning of asset? So an asset is something that is a plus in your company. A plus, something that is valuable. Okay. It's like uh, in Spanish, activo. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Valuable. So, any any other questions about pronunciation or meanings? Area. Area. Uh, area. 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 Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna yeah another one. Uh, teacher. Yes, Miguel. Um, comfortable. Comfortable is the correct? Comfortable. Like a Com little bit of an art. There's an art, but super, super soft. Comf comf right there. Comfortable. 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 Okay, perfect. Okay. It's, it's, it's uh, there. It's a little bit. It's a little art. Comfortable. Okay, comfortable. another one. Nope. So I'm going to read the conversation again. This time for intonation. Remember, intonation is for you to role play the conversation. It's not like you have to be again. Kurt, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable, sir, with my experience. No, like that. Oh, my God. And every student, they do that all the time. I don't want that. So, Kurt. How comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Remember, it's a question. How comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, with my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, what benefits can you bring to this company as an employee? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great, yes. And because of my experience as a manager, I could be a great help in large projects. Yes, it's better if you say it like that. Intonation is the key. Did you take the screenshot? Yes, or do you have yes. like the, the, okay, excellent. So right now we're gonna practice in the breakout rooms. And when we come back, I'm gonna ask some people to help me. I'm just gonna ask Suleyma, Estefania, and Jennifer, the cameras are off maybe because you're driving. No, Estefania, I know she's driving. I think she's driving. But the other ones, can you tell me why the cameras are off? I'm coming to my home. Just give me two minutes. Okay, so let me get into your house. To her house. Okay, yeah. and Merlin is. But I'm arriving to my house from my job. Okay, yeah, she's arriving. Yes, I'm here. Job. Okay, excellent. Yes, I'm not. So just Stephanie, but you are driving, or yeah, are you minutes, are you in yeah. your house? Are you driving, or are you in your house? No, I'm driving. Oh, okay. Thank you. So the people that are driving, I'm going to let them be in the... Okay. There are like two... There are some breaker rooms with three people. If you have three people there, just try to take turns saying the conversation, okay? I'm just going to see if Merlin... Merlin, where is Merlin? Merlin in this... Let me, yeah, she's here. So it's, I, I think it's okay because Stephanie is in this one. Yeah, that's okay. So let's go guys, take turns.
area. Very comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I am sorry about that. Uh, look, uh, what benefits can you bring uh, to this company as an employee? be a great asset uh, in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. Okay, perfect. Uh, now mm -hmm. you start and uh, John, um, I am them. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. Carl, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable, sir. Um, let's right, but okay, it sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be a, of a help in large, large projects. Projects. Good. Good. Okay. <laughs> well, now now I'll... try uh, uh, Rolando. And who? <laughs> I would like to be Kurt. Who want to be Andre? Uh, me again. Experience. I can say, I can say this will be a great opportunity. Okay. Um. I am sure about that. Uh, what benefit look can you bring to this company as in employees? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. Uh, it sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience I, as a manager, I could be of great help in, a lar in large projects. Okay. Um, okay. You're, you're being you're in I? Okay. I, I will start. Okay. Kurt, how uh, Look, can you bring to this company as an employee? The teacher writes, writes something in this, but I don't remember. Do you remember? Well, well, what benefit to this company as an employee? Uh, okay. I do be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. My experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. Okay. Again. <laughs> Now you ask me, right? Okay. Diana, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable, sir. Area. Area. Sorry, area. Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, what benefit can you bring to this company as an employee? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. Okay, again. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Laura, how comfortable do you feel working in sales area? Good pronunciation, guys. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. <laughs> thank you thank we do it like, like, we did it like, 10 times. So now it's, uh, yes, yes, <laughs> some rain. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, guys. But keep practicing, okay? Okay. okay. Thank you. Yeah. Laura, how comfortable do you feel? Hello, Brenda. What happened? The other lady, uh, was cut so I think she lost the 
signal, the connection. Is Anna? Or she's there. Yeah, Hi. Anna, what happened with you? <laughs> I had some problem with the internet. It does it didn't work. Oh my gosh. But, but, you can but I'm here, here again. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to practice right now, teacher. Okay, excellent. <laughs> um uh, uh, would you like to start again, Brenda? Yeah, yeah, sure. Well, let me check. Mm. We have in the WhatsApp. Oh. The screen in the WhatsApp. The screenshot in the WhatsApp. Yeah. Oh. But I don't have anything from the team. I'm going to... Where would you share it? Um... I'm going to send send in again. Okay. Right. Let me check. In the WhatsApp group. Oh, I'm not in the WhatsApp group yet. Really? Mm-hmm. Let me see. But I can share my screen for you guys. Oh, thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, then do you want to start or do you want me to start? If you want, uh, show you. Okay, Kirt, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I'm sure about that. Look, um, what, um, what, benefits benefits? Can, what benefits can you bring to this company as an employee? I could be a great step in the company because of, of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, M because of my experience as a manager, I could be a great help in large projects. That's so nice. So if you want, I'm going to start. Okay. Uh, Kier, how comfortable do you feel working in this area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this would be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, what benefit can you bring to these companies as an, as an employee? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes. And because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. Okay. If you want, uh, start you in this. Okay, okay. Kurt, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I'm sure about that. Look, what benefits can you bring to the to this company as an employee? It will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be a great help in large projects. Nice. Excellent, guys. <laughs> so you were practicing and everyone was coming, right? <laughs> we were in the punishment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. You were in the punishment. That's okay. Yeah. That's okay. You were the first one who said it. <laughs> that is okay. Don't worry. Okay, guys. So, guys, I have something to tell you that I have noticed since yesterday and today with this conversation. You guys, like most of you, if not like everyone here, have a really good pronunciation. So I'm happy. Actually, I was talking to my family this morning. This is for you to feel proud right now. I was talking <laughs> to my family this morning and I was like, hey, you know, I have a group and they have a really good pronunciation. It's like the first group I ever have 
that have like that has a really good pronunciation and even like i know you're like basic so it's not like you're gonna be like a native speaker and you have to think before you speak sometimes but so far so good so congratulations i wanted to say that because i'm, I'm impressed i'm it's really good that's something thank that you. is really good guys thank, thank you, you. And very smart teacher what is it we are very you. smart yeah i can see that you are very <laughs> smart and, and maybe you practice because practice makes perfect have you ever heard that in english no it's like la practica es el maestro in spanish yeah. it's practice makes perfect so practice makes perfect, right? So, um, yes, I'm going to have, well, <laughs> Brenda and Anna were saying the conversation <laughs> here, like in front of everyone when everyone was coming. So, but right now I'm going to ask two people to do the conversation again. Something that I wanted to mention was you were saying, sir, and sir is just for m when you have a man, right? So, if you have the conversation with a lady, do you know what you can say instead of sir? Ma'am. Ma miss? Miss, so, miss. Or miss madam. if it is not married. Misses if it is married. But if you want to just say something, it doesn't matter if she's married or not, you can say ma'am. Right? Ma'am. Ma yeah, ma like, not ma like men or man, like, no, not ma like that. It's like this. Between A and E and A. Yeah, ma'am. Ma'am. So you ma pronounced both ma'am. Ma'am. For, ma for, for uh, miss and missus. See, sí, yes, I mean, <laughs> yes. It can both, it can work both both ways. It doesn't matter if she's like a lady or she's married. It, it's okay, ma'am. So this is like the one in Spanish we have like seño. You don't know if she's señorita or señora, but you say señor, right? <laughs> yeah, right? So I remember the first yeah. time I was called señor. I felt so bad. Felt so Kill bad. Me. Yeah, I was like, am I a señor now? Am I a señor? Really? Now am I a señor? But yeah, you get over it, guys. <laughs> okay, so you can say ma'am. For example, if you have the conversation, you can change the name of the people. For example, Kurt, instead of saying mm -hmm. Kurt, say the name of your classmate. And as you're speaking with a woman, you can say ma'am instead of sir, okay? But how formal is mom? Super formal. Okay. Yeah, just... that, is, that is one of the most formal things you will ever find. So because Mr. is like miss and missus and sir is like ma'am so it's like uh, something okay. like the same right it's like a title like something important you're calling someone something important okay so um jessica and ruth sarai okay i don't know you you were the two people that i saw <laughs> <laughs> Okay. okay, let's start. Jessica, you can be Andre. Okay. Kurt, have And you can say Ruth. Okay. Ruth, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? And pretty comfortable, sir. Ma'am. Ma 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 <laughs> pretty comfortable, ma'am. With my experience, I can say this could be a great opportunity. I'm sure about that. Look, in the world. What benefits? What benefits can you bring to this company as an employer? I would be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great helping a large project. Thank you very much. So look at this, this word. You're just going to say this word, experience. Experience. So guys, do you know what is stress in English? Cuando alguien se estresa en inglés, teacher. 
Do you know what is stress in English? Yes. yes. What is the stress? No? Nope. If you I don't, don't know, know, I can explain it to you. Okay. So the stress is, for example, or tilde, or strong part in the word. Sometimes you're reading a word and you're saying the word correctly, but you're not placing the stress where it needs to be placed. What am I saying with this? For example, in Spanish, when you say papa, you understand that it's something that you eat. And when you say papa, you understand it's your dad, right? Mm -hmm. People in English have a hard time understanding the difference between papa and papa. But it's super easy. Mi papa compro papas. It's not the same like mi papa compro papas. It doesn't make sense. So it's the same in English. So for example, project is un proyecto. But project is proyectar. You see? It's the same word with different pronunciations. So sometimes you can be like, teacher, pero otra gente lo dijo, project, no project. Right? Yeah. Because project es un proyecto. Project es proyectar en algo. Right? So you have to be very, very careful with the stress. Because in English, you don't see the tilde. Right? There's no tilde. So the only way you have to identify, identify, I mean, you, the only way you have to identify the stress is by your ear. When you listen to it, you will see. So for example, many people say, mi email is that this and that, mi email. But in English is email, email. The words sound different because of that. So I think that's the same thing that happened with experience experience right experience you have to be really careful with that let's go with the uh i have only two more students i'm gonna choose anna elizabeth and i'm gonna choose 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 choose, choose. suley malisette okay can i start <laughs> yeah sure uh kurt Suleima, I'm here. No, 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 no. Instead of saying Kurt, say Suleima. Ah, okay. Suleima, how comfortable do you feel working in the South area? Uh, Anna, pretty comfortable, Miss A Man. With my experience, I can say this would be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, can Benefits. What benefits? Ah, what ben yeah, I, I forget. Sorry. Okay. What benefits can you bring to this company as an as an employee? I could be as a I could be a great asset, asset 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 in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be a great help in the in large projects. Large. Large projects. See, thank you very much. That was really good, guys. Look, look what you said. So projects, right? So projects is proyectos. But if you say projects, what do you hear the strong? Projects. In the oh, first yes. one or in the second one? The first one. In the second one projects projects right and when you say project in the second so you have to be really careful with that guys excellent so right now i'm going to explain to you how to use wool and cool do you have an idea about wood and cool or not probability probability yeah. yes what else Usually you use wool when you want to do an invitation, for example. You want to do an invitation? Maybe, yeah, makes sense. So guys, wool, cool, cool is only about possibility. Cool can be the past of can, of the verb can. 
So I could have done it. I could play soccer when I was little. I could swim when I was little. That is the past. But in this case, we're not gonna use it with the past. We're gonna use it with could be. So for example, something that could have happened or something that could happen. So for example, it will be like podría in Spanish, right? And the will next to any verb adds the ia. For me, it, I, I like to call it that. Para mí, a mí me encanta llamarle el ia. Would is like ia. So will be, sería. Will play, jugaría. Will dance, bailaría. So it's that ia in the words, the will gives it. Do you get it? Yeah? Yes. Like the, the ia. I, will, I like to call it the ia, okay? So... I'm going to give you some examples with this. No. Sure. Yeah. Uh, oh, my God. Mind... I, have to, I have to take the second attendance. Yeah, you mind what? Um, uh, could you mind explaining uh, again, please? Because I don't understand very well. The wool and cool? The, the, yes, the difference between uh, cool and uh, cool. In what yeah. situation I have to use cool? or it depends or according to the context of the sentences or the statements, I don't mm -hmm. know. Next to any other verb, cool. Okay, I'm gonna explain it to you because it will take a while, but I have to take the attendance, okay? So okay. when I finish the attendance, I'm gonna explain it, right? Okay, thank you. Okay, very good. Remember guys, cameras on, full names, okay? Let's go. Ana Beatriz Valencia Ruiz. Yes, I'm here. Ana Elizabeth Berrios de Sandoval. I'm here. Berrios. Bren... Berrios, verdad, Berrios, I'm sorry. <laughs> Berrios de no Sandoval. Worries. Brenda Erlinda Sáenz Villatoro. I'm here. Excellent. Um, Claudia Lorena Carca Morgueta. Nope. Um, Diana Yesenia Reyes Alas. Here. Estefanía Alexandra Aguilar Céspedes. Excellent. Uh, Flor Hidalma Ramírez Calderón. I'm here. Excellent. Let me see. Wait, wait, wait. Harbin, Harbin Isaac Guevara Miranda. I am here. Jennifer Gisela López Sánchez. Hello. Excellent. Uh, Juan José Avalos Campos. I am here. Katia Margarita Herrero Pérez. I'm here. Kerry Tiffany Rosales Figueroa. Um, Merlin Lisbeth Ventura Cruz. Se conecta. I'm here. Oh, ahí está. Yes, that's excellent. Miguel Ángel Centeno. Yes, I'm, I'm here. here. Um, Ro Rolando Antonio Quintanilla Ciudad Real. I'm here. Zuleima. Um, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Ruth Saraí Medrano Aguilar. I'm here. Ruth Noemí Sánchez Pérez. Nope. No. Um, Zuleima Lisette Méndez Romero. I'm here, teacher. William Antonio Morales Mancia. I'm here. Jessica Yanari Cortez Diaz. I'm here. Josue Efraín Cáceres Escalante. Silvia Maria Rivera Rivas. No? Okay. That's okay. So, cool and wool. Could be, you can use it with possibilities that are related to an ability, like can. I could play soccer, but I didn't practice. I could speak English, but I haven't learned. I could dance, but I have two left feet. Tengo dos pies izquierdos, right? I have two left feet. Two left. Yeah. So, and food. So, 
cool, you use it with abilities or possibilities in that case. Cool, in this case, you use it when you want to add to the verb that ia, like the only, only, and only the possibility with the ia. So I'm gonna give you an example with cool and I'm gonna give you an example with would that to be more specific. Let me share my screen. Okay, so here is a great difference. These two sentences mean something different. The first sentence that we have, can you read the sentence please, Rolando? Uh, I could be a great teacher. Thank you very much. Uh, can you read the second one, William? I will be a great teacher. I will be a great teacher. So this one, in this case, is only a possibility, something that could happen. It's not sure that it's going to happen, but it could happen. But with this one, I will be a great teacher. It's like I'm talking about even the future or a certain, certain possibility. To make it more understand understandable for you guys, I could be a great teacher. Yo podría ser un gran maestro. O una gran maestra. I, yo podría ser una gran maestra. I will be a great teacher. Yo seré o yo sería una gran maestra. Do you see the differences? <laughs> Both sentences have different meanings, like completely different meanings, even though they have the same words. They are different. Can you see the differences? Yes, teacher. Right, yes, when yes. you see it like this, it's pretty obvious. Let's do another one, guys. Can you read the first example, Brenda? <laughs> oh my God, I'm sorry. Guys, I'm not lying. I'm gonna tell you this pretty obvious. I am a teacher, I know that, but I have like dyslexia. So I don't know, it, it's like a little bit, but I have it. Like I'm hungry, me como letras. I don't know why it happens. Y a veces mezclo, like, 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 So if you, <laughs> no, but it's, it, it's real. I know it's funny, but it's real. So if you ever see that I make a mistake, tell me, because I don't see it. Like sometimes I'm writing and then when I go back, I'm like, oh, did I write that? It, yeah, it's, it's something that it's there. So tell me when you see a mistake, <laughs> please tell me. <laughs> okay. Okay, because I didn't notice the first one, you see, and I ate the letter. Um, I was asking, who did I ask? Brenda, right? So, mm -hmm. Brenda, can you read the first one? I could play soccer tomorrow. Excellent. Can you read the second one, Miguel? I will play soccer tomorrow. Okay, so can you see the difference between this? So, I could play soccer tomorrow, it's a possibility. Maybe I could play soccer tomorrow, right? Yo podría jugar. Teacher. Yeah. I have a question. Yeah. In this case, um, uh, I could play. Mm -hmm. The correct is uh, could be, or, or or only could. Could be is with. When you're talking about the verb to be, in this case, cero estar. So for example, yeah. I could be your teacher, right? Yo podría ser. Oh, okay. So it's with a different verb. But thank you, thank you for letting me know. Thank you, that is a good. I'm gonna give you an example with that. Um, so in this case, guys, yeah, yeah. Uh, 
the example, the example, maybe I could be player soccer tomorrow. I could be playing. Playing. Yeah, you can use that. You can you can say I could be I could be playing soccer tomorrow. That is a possibility with the present continuous or the future. <laughs> I could be playing soccer tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Thanks. It's something Thank funny you. happening. <laughs> Brenda is laughing. I don't know why, but she was laughing, so I muted her. <laughs> Like I'm gonna be like in the schools, right? Like, hey guys, can you can you tell me the joke? <laughs> it's okay, Brenda. You are muted right now. <laughs> you can laugh as much as you want. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna give you the example, Miguel, that you were asking. Okay, it's like this. Okay. I could be your friend. I will be your friend, right? Yes, yes. I could be, it's a possibility. And I will be, it's something more secure that I will be your friend. Or like, I, yo seria tu amigo. I will be your friend. Or yo seré tu amigo. Yes? Okay. It can be used both ways. Excellent. Brenda was laughing so bad that she had to stop the video. Okay, Let, let's ask, let's answer these two questions, guys. Can you read first, the first question, please? Uh, Juan Jose, can you read this question? Uh, what would be some, what would be some benefit of having Kurt in the company? Excellent. Do you know, guys? Do you know the answer based on the, on the conversation? What would be some benefits of having Kurt in the company? Um, he has a lot of experience about large projects. Excellent. Yes, that's a good one. What other one? There's another one, I believe. Experience in the construction industry. Excellent. He has experience in the construction industry. Very good. Can you help me with the second question, please, Flor? Do you consider that experience is important? Why? Okay. Guys, I'm gonna ask you this question, especially to, ooh, 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 let's see. Harbin, do you consider that experience is important? Yes, I think yes. Why? Because when you already know what you're gonna do, it's more easier to do it. It's easier to do it. Yes. Excellent. Yes, that's a good answer, guys. But how do you, <laughs> well, now everybody here works, right? I know that you all work. But in this country, sometimes it's hard to get a job, right? And many companies are like, hey, but we need five years of experience. And you're like, and how do I get experience? You have to work but how do I get a job? Oh, you need experience. But how do I get experience? Because you need to work, but how would I work if I need experience to work, but I cannot work because I, yeah, you see that is so confusing sometimes, right? Have you ever been through that process? You need experience, but they don't, they don't let you <laughs> to work. So how can you acquire the experience? Yeah, I know that, have been there. But I think um, that in some place you could be have your first experience. Yeah, in some places, some places they give you the experience. I like the programs that are like internships. Do you know what is an internship? No, no teacher. No in teacher. Internship yeah. is like a pasantia. You know what a pasantia is? Oh. Yes, yes. Yes. Okay. So internship, that is the name of it. Internship in English. So when you have an internship, um, it's good because in that case, you don't get paid a lot of money, but you get experience. And what you get experience, you can apply to a new job, right? 
So I think that's a good that's a good idea to get experience sometimes. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, thank you for letting me know, Brenda. <laughs> thank you. Okay, very good. How to use would be and could be. Okay, look at this. Use would be and could be when you want to give the impression of possibility in the future. Both are applied in the future in this case. Use would be and could be when you want to give, oh, guys, this one. You say wanna, right? You can say wanna instead of want to. You, you know that already, right? You can say wanna instead of want to. Did you know that? No? Yes. Okay. So, use would be and could be when you want to give the impression of possibility in the future. Can you read the first example, please, Ana Beatriz? I could be a great asset. Excellent. Can you read the second one, please? I don't know. Merlin, are you still driving? Yeah, I think she's driving. Diana, can you read the second one? Yes, I could be of great help in the sales department. Okay, thank you very much. So both of these are used to give the impression of possibility, right? I have a question about yeah. this sentence. Yeah. Uh, in this case, it could be correct say, I could be a great or just of great is correct. I could be a great help. Yeah, you could be a great help. It's okay, but it's better if you say I will be of great help because you're saying with this, you said it de gran ayuda. Oh, okay. If you say I will be a great help, you said una gran ayuda. So it's different. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Very good. So Guys, take a screenshot of this or if you have it in the platform because we're going to work on this right now. This is on a scramble. So you have to place the words in the correct order to make sentences. Once you make the sentences, you have to practice the pronunciation. Let's make the first sentence together. Okay? Remember, what we always need with the, the, the sentences and also the sentences are in the conversation, I believe. Okay, can you help me? What do you think is the first word? It. Mm -hmm. And then? It will be a great a great opportunity to study abroad. It will be a great opportunity to study. Do you know what is study abroad? Yes. What In is In another it? country. Excellent. Very good. Yes, it will be a great thing. It will be a great opportunity to study abroad. Okay, so you know what to do already. We're going to do this two, three, four, five together as a group in the breakout rooms. Do you have questions about the activity we're going to do? No. Nope. Let's go then.
No. To have. Must to have. The will be. Uh, no. Good option. Have. Hmm. Um, to have the <laughs> cancelled will be. Uh, no. To have a good. To have a good. Death. An option happy and happy option. Uh -huh. Oh. To have weekends off will be. Ah, happy option, no. <laughs> Good options. Good option. To have weekend off. No, no. Ah, no. To have no. weekend off, off will be. Uh -huh. A good option. Be... To have a staff. A staff. <laughs> yes. Weekends off will uh -huh. be. We can. We can a good movie. option to have. A good option to have a happy stuff. Yes. Ya me chivole. Repeat again, please. Okay. <laughs> okay. Weekends off. Weekends off will uh -huh. be will be uh -huh. a good option mm -hmm. to have a happy stuff. Will be sorry. Me he quedado. Weekend up will be. I think that working less hour will, will be, be a benefit. Exactly. Okay. Um, next, we have op option staff would be. Letter A, weekend off to letter A, have good. I don't know. I I think it was difficult these sentences. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because they have okay. a lot of. Mm -hmm. What do you think about this? Uh, weekend off will be a good option to have. Uh, a good stuff happy? <laughs> no. <laughs> I think. What happened? Wake up. Weekend off. Weekend off. But stuff is like a group, right? Yes. A group of work. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It is it's the only thing that I can make sense. Do you think will be another option for the four? Let me see. A weekend Listen, of. I got it. Mm -hmm. Staff will be happy. Staff will be happy. Um, we cannot too hard. We cannot a good option. Uh, uh, listen to this. Uh -huh. A week, okay. Weekends off could will be a good option to have a happy stuff. Yes? Yes, yes, yes. Does yes. it make sense to you guys? Yeah. Yeah, I have. <laughs> but repeat it, teacher. <laughs> I have some similar. <laughs> it's like weekend off will be a good option to have a happy stuff, right? Yeah. I have that's, staff, that's, staff that's happy. It. I have the staff happy oh, that you have. Yeah. Oh, no, it's happy stuff. Happy stuff. Yeah, is yeah. true? Excellent. Anna, uh, oh. you have you have the the private session with me today. Can you stay? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Excellent. Prepare your questions. 
I don't know. W what is the meaning of beneficial? Beneficial. 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 I don't know. I'm not sure, but a beneficioso. Benefit. Yeah, beneficioso. a benefit. A training. Mm. Will you have you I, finished? No. And we have problems with the number two teacher because we don't know what is the correct expression. We are not sure is is it okay? Uh, we use uh, our employees could be or only employees could be. Okay, let me see. Mm, beneficial employees could be a training. A training could be beneficial for our employees. A training, a training yeah. could be training. beneficial. At, at the... Look at this, look at this. A training. Could we have be... the capital letter. Don't, where do you have the capital letter? A uh, training, a. Uh. A training? Yeah, it's a capital. training, it should be capital, yeah. A training could be beneficial for our employees. employees. For our employees. So we have Did problems with that with that sentence. Teacher. Did you do the letter, the number four? Did you do it? Yes, we do yes. it. How do you have it? We um, can come off. Yeah. Will be a good option to have happy stuff. Excellent. Ooh. Good job. <laughs> Only one teacher. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Good job, guys. Hi, teacher. Ah, we Hi, teacher. No me voy a morir pronto. What, what you were said? you saying? What were you saying? Something good, I hope. Yeah. It was really good. Um, Brenda told me that she heard uh, like uh, music. And I told her that is in my house because my little niece is watching the movie The Minions. And it's a part when they are singing. Ah. <laughs> yes, I'm going to go out in a meme, maybe. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> in a meme. Okay, did you finish, guys, all the sentences? Yeah. Yes. How do you have number four? I'm curious. The number four. We can off could be a good option to have a happy stuff. Excellent. <laughs> I thought that was gonna be hard, but you did really good. Good job, guys. <laughs> Excellent. I think I'm not sure, but we can off would be would be a good option to have have to have happy stuff to have a happy stuff hmm? yes <laughs> <laughs> to have a happy stuff so weekends off could be will be a good option to have happy stuff uh, weekends we can... off oh, will we? be uh, will be a good option uh, to have uh, a happy stuff to have a uh have happy, a happy yeah. stuff happy stuff okay thank you and we have problem with with the number two with the number three two number three or two both uh, three both. okay three but, let's see but the number okay. two could be like uh, a training could be beneficial for our employees and yes. And the yes. number three, working less hours will be another benefit. Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Hello, hello. 
So I thought that was gonna be a really easy activity, but some of you were having like a real, like a little bit of a hard time trying to, to solve that, right? But it was not that difficult, or was it? Was it difficult, super difficult, complicated? Confusing. Some of these were complicated. Some of some of them, yeah, some of them were complicated. But yeah, it's not. It's not something impossible to do. Teacher, I have a question. Yeah, but it's hard. <laughs> it's in the in the platform. There is a part in which uh, they say unscramble the words and then form sentences. But when I try to send the answers for that. Uh, always says that is wrong and the answer is right because you already told us that is right the ones that we were showing you maybe chat points can no, you tell no, me no. the number of the exercise yeah it's exactly in the part in which the same sentences that we have been uh, forming here are there okay so can you tell me the, the, the I think the, it's the five five I think I'm not sure no 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 but I mean Okay, let me look for it. But there is a problem there with the app. Let uh, me see. It's in section one. Okay. The homework one or the homework two? Oh yeah, yeah, the homework two. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do it together. We're gonna do it here, don't worry. Okay, so the first one, how is the first one? It will be a great opportunity to study abroad. It will be a great opportunity to study abroad. Yeah, it will be a great opportunity to study abroad. Just to try, you can uh, do can send that and see that will give you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, it's okay. Mm -hmm. The point. Oh yeah. yeah, the point. Oh my gosh. No. <laughs> Kill me, please. Kill me. <laughs> Sometimes. And where is the point example. there? It's just no, no, no. It's it's oh yeah, but no. It's at the end of a sentence. You can try to add the period, and sometimes it's that okay. Okay. It's just that okay. Excellent. Let's go with the it next saved one. Saved my life. <laughs> I was going to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry. Okay. Let's go. Let's go with the second one. Obviously, a training is first. A training could be beneficial for our employees. If you see me grinding, oh, don't do this, don't do this. Because if you do that, sometimes it, you will get like incorrect. Okay, let's go with number three, guys. Wanna hear everyone? <clears throat> yeah. Working less hours. Miguel, uh-huh, working. Working less hours will be beneficial oh another will be benefit benefit another benefit another mm -hmm. do you have guys the same another benefit another benefit lord mm -hmm. another benefit another yes. benefit it was just the order of the words another benefit okay number 4 someone else or I'm gonna ask you. Juan, how do you have four? Juan Jose. Uh, your microphone is off. Okay, number four. Yeah. Um, I write, um... Uh, excuse me. Um, that's our working option style will be a good. Uh, 
The beginning is weekends off. Okay. Yes, but I, I write, but it's an, in another <laughs> form. Oh, in other form, is it? Yes, but it's, um, I make mistakes in, in, in when I write. <laughs> Can you say it now or 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 in, want... in, my, in my when I when I were right, mm -hmm. I make a mistake. Okay, that's but okay. I, Don't... I, I, I try. Um we can offer um to have a happy stuff. Weekends off. Can someone help one? To have a happy stuff. Um, yes, I, I have. Uh, weekend self will be a good option to have a happy stuff. But when I send the answer, uh, it's incorrect. I don't know why. <laughs> Period. Weekend self, weekend self will be a good option to, to have. have a happy uh, happy stuff. Happy. Oh my God. You see? Happy stuff. Point. Let's let's see. Let's finish it. Um Harvin, tell me the last one. <clears throat> okay, is Maria could be of great help. In the inventory department. Do you have like that guys? Yes. Okay. Hmm. So yeah, this one is a problem. Let's see what is the problem. Weekends off will be a good option to have a happy stuff. Maybe without that. No. Hmm. Let me check what is the problem because I can check the problem. Um, okay, okay. It's a problem with the platform. It's not your it's not your problem. It's the platform. <laughs> okay. It's oh. it's it's the platform. Um which which option is the correct? Let me let me do it again because me salí. <laughs> so let me do it again. So in this case, you I don't know why. I'm gonna send this to to the person who who works on the platform. It's okay. We all make mistakes, but they write to have happy employees. That's what they write. They wrote it like this. They add another word. Yeah, it's it's different. No, 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 no. Wait, wait a minute. So it says, weekend soft will be a good option to have. Will be a good option to have. Oh, this is the mistake. To have happy employees. It's like that. <laughs> But it's a mistake. It's a mistake in the platform. So I'm going to text the person who is in charge of the platform so they can change that. Okay. But thank you for letting me know, guys. Okay. So you have a homework for tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow, we are going to pretend that we, have, we are new employees to different companies. Okay. And you have to tell me why you will be a great asset to these companies. It can be Apple, it can be anything. 
But right now I'm going to give you a few minutes to plan with your classmates, the company. So you have to choose. Okay, let's do it like this. You're going to meet with your classmates right now. You're going to choose a company. It can be any company in the world. I don't care. Any company. And then you will have to prepare like a little presentation on why you as a team are a great asset for the company that you choose. Yes? Understand? Uh -huh. huh? A little. Thing. Can you repeat? Okay, I'm going to say it again. So you are going to choose any company, any company that you can imagine. Apple, Google, Pollo Campero, Claro, I don't know, any company. Your choice. Si escoge Claro, por favor arregle la señal. So, you are going to choose any company and then you are going to tell me why, porque ustedes como un equipo, why you as a team serían buenos para esta compañía. Invéntenselo. I don't care. Make it up. Yes? And you're going to prepare a little presentation that you will do tomorrow. Understand? Okay. Let's yes. go to the breakout rooms really quick. So you can do that. Let's go. Let's go. what we why why uh, yes why we uh, great asset for that company in this case Suleima said apple why are good for that company God, what can we do so very well for that company imagine you're the next steve jobs <laughs> I don't have imagination. <laughs> Imagine you're going to be the next Steve Jobs and you're make and you're gonna make the iPhone's battery last longer because oh my god. <laughs> it is a good idea, the true, because uh like the teacher said that we can invent, so we can imagine the last cell phone that can fly or something like that <laughs> that can fly oh my god <laughs> we, we have to have imagination right imagination yeah well, and okay. look instead of saying invent maybe say make it up make it up, make it okay? up. with up at the end make it up yeah up okay 
maybe that we can we can use technology. Okay. Cool technology. Um that what is we, your company? Google. Oh excellent. Yeah, because it is the best place to work. I have seen that. <laughs> <laughs> you will be great because you have this and you have that something like that that is the yes. coach <laughs> yes uh, what is I, your would company? Like uh, I would coach, like to uh, work i would like yeah coach like the bags and, and, sure. and purses mm -hmm. no i have a question like we have to say uh why we will be a great asset for the company that is yeah. the thing that we have to answer mm -hmm. uh yeah Okay. And what is your company? Well, I will say that uh, the company will be the same which I am right now, but I will say that I want to be the boss. <laughs> I want to be the project. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. But you, you all guys have to share one, have to choose one company as a team. Ah, all of us. Ah. Yeah. For example, ah. I came to breakout rooms. They, they chose um, Apple, Google. Uh -huh. And you have to make it up. Como inventarlo, make it up. Uh -huh. mm. But what do we have to invent? What do we have, to, what do we? Imagine uh -huh. you are really good scientific people. You uh -huh. are, I don't know, imagination. Like why you will uh -huh. be good for that company. Uh -huh. Okay, so okay. I want to be a good asset for Versace. So mm -hmm. it's because teacher, I'm a really good designer, fashion designer, and I'm better mm -hmm. than, than Giovanni Versace, right? I don't know, something like that. Uh-huh, okay. But uh, teacher, everybody has to uh, uh, has to choose uh, the no. company. You guys together, choose one company together. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Um, uh, I don't know if interview, but Hello guys, I'm sorry that I have to ask you to come here because it's time to go and I didn't notice that I haven't, go, <laughs> haven't gone to the second, the third attendance. So I have to do that really quick and then I have to stay with Anna Elizabeth Berrios, right? We didn't finish. That, that, <laughs> is, that is okay, don't worry. That's okay. If you didn't finish, we're going to continue tomorrow, okay? Ah, okay. At the and beginning the of the class, the, tomorrow. I'm just if you can work on something um, today or tomorrow during the day, that's okay because we're gonna do it tomorrow. Okay. Yes. Excellent. Sure, so I, sure, go with I, ha I have a question okay, about, about to the exercise number five. Uh huh. Uh, you explain us. Uh, when you will use will be and will be, mm -hmm. yeah. But uh, I would like to know if if exit some rules to make a sentence. For example, uh, verb, subject, uh, complement, question mark. I don't know because okay, the rule. I, you need I, the rule. Yes, because when I try to to put in order the scramble, I don't have a guide. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I, I really, I really invent the, the, the step by step, but I would like okay. to have a rule 
for to help. What about if I teach you that tomorrow? Because right now I have to stay with Anna, right? So I'm going to write it down here and I'm going to explain that to you tomorrow. Okay, Rolando? Okay, thank you. Excellent, very good. So let's go to the attendance because it's really quick. So Ana Beatriz Valencia Ruiz. I'm here. Ana Elizabeth Berrio de Sandoval. I'm here. Brenda Erlinda Sáenz Villatoro. Cla Claudia Lorena Carca Morgueta. Diana Yesenia Reyes Alas. I'm here. Estefanía Alexandra Aguilar Céspedes. Florida Alma Ramírez Calderón. I'm here. Harvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. I'm here. Jennifer Gisela Lopez Sánchez. I'm here. Juan Jose Avalos Campos. I'm here. Katia Margarita Herrero Pérez. I'm here. Kerry, Kerry Tiffany Rosales Figueroa. Merlin Lisbeth Ventura Cruz. Miguel Ángel Centeno. I'm here. Rolando Antonio Quintanilla, Ciudad Real. I'm here. Ruth Saraí Medrano Aguilar. I'm here. Ruth Noemí Sánchez Pérez. Suleima Lisset Méndez Romero. I'm here, teacher. William Antonio Morales Mancía. I'm here. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. I'm here. Josué Fraín Cáceres Escalante. Silvia Maria Rivera Rivas. Okay, guys. So have a good night. I'm going to stay with Anna Elizabeth right now. Okay. So bye bye. I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. Have a good night. Thank you. Good night. Bye bye. 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 <laughs> Just waiting for Anna. And Jennifer, I don't know, she may be try. Okay, there we go. Hello, <laughs> Anna, how are you doing today? I'm fine, a little bit tired, but I'm all right. <laughs> Have you been working? Yes, Where all do you the work? time. I work in a call center. <gasps> uh, really? Yeah. As a supervisor, and I have a lot, lot, lot of work every day. So you and work as a supervisor, but for Spanish call center, or you work for uh, mm -hmm. English call center? Uh, it's a Spanish call center, but the agents have to uh, call to English departments uh, because uh, all the calls are for sales, residential and wireless sales. And they have to, to call to fraud, to credit review, and that the parents are in English. So, yeah. but it's in a Spanish call center. Yeah, the calls are in Spanish, but the tools are in English and the departments are in English too. Oh, so that's why you have to learn English. Yeah, and I, I want to improve and try to practice because I know that I have a long time with to practice English and uh, it was... It, it is the, the principal reason that I am here. Okay, so the main reason. And yeah. did you study English before? Yes, I study in different uh, ways, like in the university, uh, because my career uh, has English for all What's the career. career? Uh, I don't know if that is a great way to say that uh, international uh, international relationships. Or... International, yeah, that's cool. I like yeah. that career. I wanted to study that career. <laughs> it's cool that I finished that career and I have my title. My you have your title. title. Yeah. Oh, yes. so you have your bachelor degree. Yeah. So I have my paper about that. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. When did you graduate? Uh. uh 2019. Oh, before the pandemic? Yeah. <laughs> so you have your Long pictures. Before. You have your graduation and everything. Yeah. Excellent. Exactly. Good job. Yes. So, Anna, I'm here. Whatever questions you want to ask me about pronunciation, about the topics or anything? Mm, about the topics, I think that I'm okay because it is just a refresh about the other things that I, I learned. 
um, I have been studying English, I don't know, almost three years ago. And when I start to work uh, at the beginning, all was in English because we received calls in English and in Spanish and the call center is the first job that I have. Um, but after uh, all the calls changed and we just received Spanish calls and maybe I lost all the practice I have in that moment. And uh, I have almost three years without practice English. And yeah, and I think that always I forget maybe the grammar or the words and I know that I need to improve the vocabulary and practice, practice, practice because maybe sometimes, I don't know how do you say, me travel. I get and I don't stuck. like it. Yeah, I get stuck. I get stuck. Okay. And basically, is that um, I have a question, but it's not for the topics. It's like, um, uh, for example, uh, it is the first time that I have a Zoom class. Mm -hmm. It is new for me mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, because I'm. I know that the class before the pandemic was different. So I have this um, class with four, no, three co-workers that work with me. Um, I know that you will meet them, uh, Stefania, Suleyma, Merlin. Um, they, they are a part of my team as a coaches. Um, and we obviously have different specials uh, around the week. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe we have to work at uh, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. and other days to 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. And we ask about this that maybe if we have close uh, schedule, uh, can we uh, have the class, but maybe with the camera off at the beginning and after try to to continue with the class, right? Um, but I don't know if you are a problem with that. So sorry if we have that part someday. Okay. Yes. Okay. Maybe have did you tell this to English Corporativo? Yes. They oh. say us that it will not be a problem. But I don't know with you. It's okay as long as you have your camera on when I'm going through the attendance. Mm -hmm. So you okay. you can have, so you tell me because before you have your camera off, you have to tell me teacher today I'm working or something like that and you text me, right? So that's the first mm -hmm. thing you need to do because I know. Because sometimes when the people have the cameras off, I'm like, hey, what's the problem are you driving or something and they don't say anything so I'm like what's happening so maybe first let me know then mm -hmm. when I'm going through the attendance turn on your camera just for the attendance mm -hmm. and then when I finish the attendance you can turn it off again okay it is the thing that I I did today because I uh, I have closing today and I was like Oh my God, my phone, oh my God, the class, oh my God, uh, the link and, and quickly, quickly, quickly and try to run, run. And I, I have to wait to my husband and they carry me and I was uh, in, the, in the in the way, right? go to my home and, uh, and for the person I, I text you. So yeah, that that's okay. And maybe when you have that, text me uh, to WhatsApp because okay. it's better for me to see it on WhatsApp because when the, you text me on, on Zoom, like there are many students writing at the same time. So sometimes I don't see it. So send me a message to WhatsApp mm -hmm. and then I will see it and then I will know that you're busy. Okay, okay, okay sure. But that, that, that's okay. Uh, so you tell me it's Merlin. Uh, Merlin, Suleyma and Stefania. Merlin, Suleyma, Stefania and you. Yes. So Estefania, I believe, was going home. Yeah, she always drive and she, I think that she lives to uh, very, I don't remember how to say lejos. My she goodness. lives far away? Far away, yeah. 
and for that reason, she always uh, tells you that she is thriving. Yeah, but don't worry, Anna. Your English is okay. Your English is good so far. You are in basic six. So it means that when you get to advanced, you will have a better English. Sometimes, like, I don't think I speak a perfect English, but with the practice, that's what you have to do. Like what you said, right? Practice, 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 practice. But even though for me, sometimes I start speaking what, what we call Spanglish, right? Sometimes I'm like, see, sí. and I'm like, no, 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 that's yes, <laughs> right? So my mind gets confused, even me, that, that I'm a professional in English, supposedly, right? So it's okay, don't worry. It's okay if you get stuck sometimes. It's okay if you think before you speak because it's not your first language. It's not like with the Spanish. And even though with the Spanish, you know, sometimes with the Spanish, we're like, we get stuck, se nos lengua la traba, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yes. So don't worry. It's okay. So do you have another question or another thing you want to? Mm, I think I'm okay. Just for the platform, uh, you say that we can do the different exercise uh, in every time that we, we can do it, right? Yeah. We don't have to follow our order or schedule for do it. No, you you have to go through the exercise in order, but you have to, if you want to do all the unit one today, that's okay. The okay. only problem is when you are behind what I'm teaching. So I'm teaching okay. a topic and maybe you are like three three exercises back. I'll start to to the first exercise. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, bad. that's sure. a problem. For example, the topic yeah. that I gave yesterday. I suppose that everybody did it yesterday. Mm -hmm. that, that's okay. Okay. Anna, uh, that will be it. I think we're okay. Yes. And thank you for- For me, it's okay. Everything. So you are amazing. I thank love your uh, English and I don't know. <laughs> I uh, thank you. Thank you very much, Anna. You're doing good. You will see that you will speak English better than me. <laughs> mm, I'm going to think in that. Be, be positive. <laughs> be positive. Okay. <laughs> Okay, okay, sure. Have a good night, Thank Anna. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, you too. Good night.